for Kansas City. Going 374 feet. Oh, welcome all to spring training number two for season 46. Uh, time for some wild scores. First chance look at some of the uh, new players who joined the league, both new creates, recreates, and uh, to see how uh, maybe your team's going to shape up as the season goes. New look for new players, new destinations, all that fun jazz. Uh, we'll dive right into it though. I did do a rough matchup schedule. I posted it to management chat just so people could see, but this is what I'm intending to cover today. Um, I took a quick look at Thursday spring training to see who was shown on stream and who wasn't. Um, this should cover everyone, um, but just an aside that I am trying to keep this under two hours. Um, so if we are running uh, long, on this due to all the live streams then I'm gonna start cutting games and just doing quick sims to get it done by four so just a heads up so you know teams like you know my own Toronto Boise Nashville DBS and Louisville in California if we don't get to you we don't get to you I apologize um, but uh, we'll uh, we'll get this going we'll go as fast as possible try to zoom through this so <clears throat> we can see we're on the third uh, I believe I did save it well I'm 90 percent sure I did save it so move forward hopefully no crash nothing uh if we go to world scores there is no games at all for any of the teams so we'll move forward to the fifth we're going to punch that old save button just take a quick look at our matchups again we can say today is a quick sim day so we will do as such 
autoplay all games today. Perfect. Since it's spring training, we are not going to go to the box scores unless there's something extraordinary in order to go over and point out. Uh, so we'll just head into it. Uh, we see the Aviators are going to shut out the sloths here 5 nothing. As Hangman picks up the first win of spring training and the player of the game with a couple home runs coming from OBX side. Uh, Vancouver Vandals will beat the Voyagers 6-4. Uh, get out hit, but it doesn't matter. Hits don't matter. It's how many runs you push in. So they're going to take this one here with Arya remaining a perfect 3-0 here in spring training. Uh, they're hoping for a thing of signs to come for them. Toronto 9-2 over Buffalo. Uh, Thrashton picks up the win. Uh, love the save. And if we've known anything about the Pathfinders, is it doesn't matter how good they do in the regular season, they're probably going to lose in the playoffs. Uh, Providence Crabs, 2-1 to one over the Raptors. Uh, trying to change around their fortunes from last season. I think they got OOTP'd a little bit. So I think if uh, Dust is there, hopefully he is hoping it rolls the dice in his favor this time around. Uh, player of the game will be Cove in the losing cause. Death Valley, um, I think kind of heading into a bit of a rebuild here. Uh, so no surprises so far for them, I think. But, I mean, I do think they... Uh, have a little bit higher hopes than last season, um, despite them quote unquote rebuilding. I think they still have a good enough team to, you know, challenge 500. I think last season was a bit out of place, but 10 to 3 is your final there as they are going to beat the Sea Serpents. Apex beat the Stars. Um, nice interdivisional battle there. Uh, I think the Stars thought that they were going to end up in the playoffs last year, but the Sim just kept punching them down, and Indy finally ended the drought. Uh, we'll see if uh, they can keep that trend continuing. Uh, I'm sure Indy is hoping for it. Nashville is hoping to reverse it, as I think that is going to be the toughest division in the league this year. Um, it's going to be the Nashville, Indy, Lunar Base, and Detroit. Uh, good luck on the season predictions with that one. River Rays are going to beat the Space Rangers 4-2 on 11 hits. Bright's going to pick up the win. The player of the game will go to Lycan. And last but not least, Demons are going to beat the Toros here, 9-5. As Wow, this one goes into 14 innings, and then Detroit puts up six runs. Uh, Cancun retied it, but uh, it's not enough. Third of the game is going to be Glaber Torres, as they actually had two home runs. Moving on to the next day, punch save. There is a stream game I did want to try and get to, which is going to be Detroit at Lunar Base. <clears throat> Um, if anyone wants to throw up a bet, we can. I'll give it about two, three minutes here. Uh, I know everyone just hopped in and we're going at a blistering pace. So if uh, we're going to do bets, uh, let's try and stay ahead of it if we can. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a couple minutes to try to get something going here. How is everyone? How are you guys, ladies, and everyone else doing? Got to watch a incredibly boring F1 race. Don't know how I didn't fall asleep during it, but <clears throat> tired, tough. You had stream issues? Oh, like loading stuff. Okay. No, that's all good. F1 used to not be boring, but the last 15 years has made it pretty boring, except for that one season. All right, who scores first? Uh, I say the same thing. Channel points, what are you going to use them for? I mean, even if it's not your team's playing, um, throw them out there. It's the only way you're going to get that uh, amount to cash out, because uh, watching does take a little while to build up those points so you might as well do some bets and try to get there quicker <clears throat> let's go for 30 or 40 more seconds there's some more bets down that's good <clears throat> All right, Detroit, the slight favorites here, the old fun spring training.
All right. We'll get us going here. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I guess I should get rid of that up top. There you go. Um, are we still have BNN off, so we gotta turn that on. I didn't realize, keep forgetting the last game I streamed was the Miners World Series, so. Uh, where's my friend? There you are. Move you up there. There we go. Uh, bases loaded situation here early. No outs here as Watt is in trouble. They will get a strikeout. Double play could get them out of the inning as Detroit trying to recover here. But they are going to walk home. That is their second walk here. But there's an early one for me for Lunar Base. Then they will get the runner at second but cannot turn the double play. So there's early 2-0 lead and then a strikeout. So um, runs are up on the board but considering the situation they're in, two runs limiting to that is probably still beneficial for them there uh there was a hit and run going on but the fly ball is going to nullify that really quickly another walk here as Macarena is having some control issues runners both go double steal wow wow we want not often you see that as now we have bases in the situation double play gets him out of it we'll see if Detroit can get the ball they are gonna swing and miss there this has a little too much hang time so the nice double steal is unfortunately going to end up giving them nothing as uh still zeros on the board uh sterling is going to crank that one into left field that is a lead off double here for the race so winging straight out there by bouillon dong and m&m is going to punch this in the outfield there goes the runner the throw is going to be super late so Lunar Base continues to increase that lead. Up the middle now for Alvarez as Eminem aggressively runs to third. Uh, second baseman charges hard for the ball, but no throw made as that is 4-0 now. Here's the double play ball, and they will turn it. But Lunar Base running a trend of two runs per inning here. Detroit hoping that isn't the trend for the entirety of the game, or that's going to be a big score. Pop out there, strike out there. Macarena trying to recover from a bit of a rough outing last inning and will. Quick three outs there. That one's in hard, deep, over the left field wall. Morgan, a solo later. That's a solo blast as Lunar Base continues putting runs up on the board. That is popped up and caught by the center fielder. Uh, there's another prediction up, by the way, if anyone wants to throw some money down. Uh, there's a single there by Apollo. That one is hitting the left. Looks like it'll be caught. Boyan. Runner was going, but it won't matter as they will make the play at first. So they got uh, another run on the board. Uh, did they make the out? No, they didn't. It was a error. So runner gets free pass to first, but they will strike out the next batter. And then that is hit into the good, 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 good gap by Dogwood as here comes the runner home and that is going to break the goose egg on the board for the Demons. There goes the runner. Second or third steal, not often you see those, but it is successful. And that's going to pay off as even though there is an out, they will push a runner across the board. Ruiz. Uh, the no throw made. They'll get to first. Torres. It's going to drop this one in front of the center field. There's some two-out rallies going on here. Then that's the third baseman. No throw. Bases loaded situation for Gunk Jr. And they are going to pop it up on the infield grass. You hate to see it. This is hitting the center field and caught. Alvarez pumps this one into the outfield. That's going to drop down for a single. Chains having a pretty hot spring training here is unfortunately going to ground into a double play to end the inning. Jolly hits this one to left field and that's caught. Granho uh, does the same thing but faster and lower. 
And then Vita is able to finally get it to drop as three or times a charm hitting it to the left fielder, they are able to get a single. Dogwood will draw a walk. Apollo into the outfield. Is that got enough? It does! And just like that, we have a tie game. Three run blast by Apollo. Sneaks it over the wall, and uh, we have a 5 5 game. Macarena is still in 93 pitches. Um, that spring training ERA is a yikes. That's hit the third. Nice throw. We'll get the play out at first. Staring strikeout there by Morgan. Albies goes down on strikes as well. Torres is going to put that one between the shortstop's legs. That's to first, to second, back to first, but the throw was too slow. Staring strike out there. And then this one's dropped into left field, so we have two on, two out. Macarena will see if they're still in this after this. They are. And they are going to get out of the inning here. Cross Erickson draws a walk. Sterling. As there is a throw to first in time, we'll get the out. That one is going to touch down the left field. Runner is going to not run home. Strike out there. This one's popped to center. Deep and it's gone. I'll see you later. Our second three run blast of the game going Lunar Base's way this time. As Alvarez hits that one out here in 8-5 now. This is not a defensive game or a pitcher's game for sure. As that one's going to center right and that is gone. Hulk of Auto two run blast as we are now into double digits for the Space Rangers. Morgan cannot check the swing and that is going to send everyone on their merry way. Buzz Lightyear in. All-Star. Vita draws a walk. Dogwood pops up. That's caught. Apollo is able to push that up the middle. Some aggressive running will pay off as they make it to third. Uh, this should be an out here, and it is. Good throw in. Holds the runners. And then a swinging strikeout, so... What looked to be maybe a rough inning completely recovers. Two strikeouts there by Rogalski. Make that three as he strikes out the side. Lightyear is able to get to the fly out the center field. Goat Jr. does the exact same thing. Deja vu. And Jolly lines out to their right fielder. Boyan. There's a free out there in the infield. Eminem. Stairs at a strikeout as Roberts is in now. And then Alvarez goes down on strikes. That's the second baseman tossed out at first as Grant Home is tossed out. Vita. Center fielder barely moving as that pretty much is delivered directly to him. Dogwood. Down on strikes. Detroit down to three outs here now to try and recover this one. Uh, as Chains trying to add to those RBI totals is going to come up a bit short. Hulk Votto tries to do the same thing and is successful as that is their second home run of the game. I'll see you later. As uh, Lunar Base saying, you know, let's make this meet lead insurmountable. Nice dive by the second baseman, but cannot make the play. There goes the runner, and they're going to get tossed out by a country mile. Albies goes down on strikes. It is up to Apollo Ruiz and Torres to keep this thing going. Lightyear still in. They only get the first out. Uh, that's over the third baseman's head. It's going to touch the bottom of the wall. Ruiz is chugging hard for a double, and they will get it. Torres, as left fielder runs half the length of the field to take that out. Then Burnside on strikes as Lightyear 
comes in, pitches a almost four inning appearance to shut this thing down. 11 5 is your final. Why am I yawning so much? Alvarez goes four for five, three RBIs. Two for five for Hawk Bottle, three RBIs. Both those are home runs. Macarena to win. Light year the save. Delling the L. Player of the game is Cali Alvarez. We are going to punch save here. Slots are going to beat the Vandals here. 8-2 on 12 hits. Quest is going to get the win. Quest is going to be your player of the game. Um, New York Voyagers beating the Raptors. 5-2. John Patey, winner and player of the game. Surge pull themselves above 500 as they beat the Crabs. 4-3 on 10 hits. Chapler gets a W, but Savage is your player of the game. Aviators take one off the Pathfinder, scoring two late in the ninth. 6-4 is your final. Out of the win, player of the game is McNeely. Star shutting out the Toros, 7 nitten on 9 hits. Uh, sea Serpents putting, this feels like this is a trend with 23, but scoring 3 late here in the ninth to take this one off the Ruger as it's a tie records at 8 and 6. And the Scorpions beat the Apex 5-2. Striker gets the W. Some Miners ball. Ranas are going to beat the Hepcats here 4-3. I would be pretty sad if the Ranas have like a record like this all season in the minors. Flamingos beat the Bears 8-3. 14 hits. Bon Appetit and Johnson with some home runs. Kingpins 9-8 as this one goes to 10 innings and the Kingpins um, steal this one away from the Lemurs here. A couple single run innings. Dills beat the Swifties 6-3. And the Firehawks are going to beat the Wheelers 6-3 on 13 hits. Hopefully the uh, Firehawks' um, fortunes are better this year <laughs> than they were last year. Moving on, we have the... Oh my god, April 7th. Let's check our matchups. And it's Quicksim Day. Let's go. Um, our next matchup is going to be Buffalo at OBX. Voyagers are going to beat the Sloths here 10-2 as, again, we see six runs in the top of the ninth. Um, RIP ninth inning pitchers in uh, OOTP 23 lately. Uh, Crawford will get the W. Player of the game is James Down. Has the seventh home run of spring training. Raptors will beat the Surge here 7-3. They get out hit, but it doesn't matter, so they're going to pick up the W. Aviators pulling two double-digit wins here, 10-5 now. As this one goes to 14 innings, as Crabs had the win in their pocket, Aviators tied it. Crabs had the win in their pocket, Aviators tied it, and then Aviators won it. Part of the game is Neller Denstro. Pathfinder is going to beat the Vandals here, seven to three. Uh, Star Scream the win. Part of the game, Mo Love. Stars going to beat the Space Rangers, five four. Out hitting them eight to seven. Toros get a win. Beat up on the Scorpions 12 to 5 on 18 hits. Uh, Clearly not cloudy. Player of the game. Rugurus 4 to 2 over the Demons. 11 hits. Mick 43 the win. Player of the game. Mick 43. And the Sea Serpents 8 to 4 over the Apex. Bear version 2.0 the win. Player of the game though will be Allard. Miners, Wheelers beat the Lemurs, 9-7. <clears throat> as they say, join us under 500. Hepcats beat the Firehawks here, 4-3. Ziegler the win. Player of the game is Virim. Mingos beat the Dillos, 5-2. But Gritty will be your player of the game in the losing cause. State College, 10-3 over the Kingpins. Telfair the win. Asaro, your player of the game. And Brew City Bears beat the Ranas. Knight picks up a win. Knight picks up the player of the game. Alrighty. So we have Buffalo against OBX. Um, it's my fault. I desperately need to get myself like a quick coffee or a drink of water. So I am going to <clears throat> start this up but I will just duck away here for a couple seconds. I apologize. It's my bad. I was watching F1 like last second, so um, 
Yeah, it's spring training though. Relax, relax for spring training. Outer Banks versus Buffalo. Uh, yeah, there's your schedule. We'll get this going, and I will BRB. We're back. 3 nothing for Buffalo here. As uh, they are getting uh, hidden OBX 4-1. Um, Anikes, who's your F1 team? Why is life pain? Are you a Williams fan or something? That is punted by the shortstop here. Uh, fun fact, probably like 50% of the players for spring training are probably playing out of position, so... Uh, if you see a lot of errors in teams underperforming, that's a good bet. Why? Gasly fan. Oh, you poor soul. I guess uh, Alpine's L plan um, failed. That's cranked into right field. Will be picked up, but that is a single there for Forbis. They do steal, and just as I say that, they're going to have a nice stand up stolen base. Uh, is that a tournament baseball? I feel like it isn't. Um, two on. That is to the third baseman, and they will get the runner at second. So OBX holding on to only a 3 1 deficit here. Is that nice little boot by Dunkin' Donuts? That is going to go up the middle, and it's going to be punted by this shortstop. Uh, just talking errors. That's not counted as an error. Okay. Garbanzo goes down on strikes, and then, ooh, that goes under the glove of the shortstop. Uh, who is on a shortstop for Buffalo? Uh, old Hulk Savage there on the struggle bus. Uh, 
as uh, we're going to have two on here. But a strikeout. Uh, OBX will get one. But they're still trailing. Obviously, with three on the board for... Mine is Lando Norris from McLaren. Um, made me sad today. I don't know what to think about Lando, to be honest. Like, what happened? Like, you knew with the safety car, everyone was going to pit. Um, so, like, if they pit Lando, he would have been on hards, but he probably still would have been maybe eighth. And then the question is, you know, would he been, have been able to pass anyone anyways? I almost want to say no. I think the thing that depresses me most is that uh, Bernie Collins... Uh, commentator pointed it out but i noticed it when i was watching the game or the game the race is mclaren's drrs is absolutely dog water um they only have six kilometers an hour max speed on mercedes in a straight line like that's brutal watching him go through the high speed corner zone was nuts like he just disappeared on hamilton through the high speed corners um but like mclaren's got to figure out that drs it's going to kill him. Well, I mean, it's always been rough. Like, ever since we've switched the regulations, McLaren's uh, straight line speed has been like... It's been like a tractor. Their strength has been, if it's a cooler race, they seem to do better for, like, you know, engine speed and being able to pick stuff up. And they're really good in the corners. Um, but modern F1 seems to, like, rely on DRS so much that if you don't have it, you're, like, dying. So, anyways... Back to baseball there. Uh, we got one out, but we have two on here for OBX as Denstro pushes the runner up to third. And nice little hit up the middle by other Denstro. Can someone tell me is... That's not the same user, right? Because Tr Trunch would have... Because their new player wouldn't be ready yet if they just retired. Right? Is it someone else using the Denstro name? Uh, we have a tie game here, though. And a strike out there. As they are tro oh that's gonna go and it's gone over the wall Henry three run blast and just like that OBX has doubled up on Buffalo talk about the old comeback ah thanks and eat as uh, this two out rally is still going finally De Deli the index is gonna get them out of it. Uh, Pud Blidzy is in now. As there's a ground there by Forbes Jr. Mustard draws a walk. Cole Kim. Probably going to win the battle batting title again because why not? Ridiculous. Um, is able to get on. But nice barehanded throw by the third baseman will get an out. The swinging strike out there will put down Thriller. Okay, it's Khan to the left fielder. That's Khan. Garbanzo. Able to draw a walk. Denstro to the second baseman. No double play. So they're just happy to let him spend some energy. But a pop out there will get the out. And that is going to do it here. Buffalo trying to get back in this game here, but Savage is going to with laser that right to the first baseman pretty much at the bag Tommy Vanderhonken once a promising prospect now a uh, reliever a, wow that oh, OTP Wizards going to get tossed out with time to spare and then Kyle will ground out running out of outs here is Buffalo to get back into this swing straight out there by McNeely Harper is going to drop that in front of the left fielder. Henry. There goes Harper. They're going to be safe. Henry, fresh off a three-run home run, is going to ground out. Brooks goes down on strikes. Buffalo down to the last six outs. Cookie Monster going to go down on strikes. Forbes Jr. going to drop this one in the left field here. Vander Honkins already gassed. That's spring training pitching for you. As we have two on, one out now. Cole Kim, they're gassed themselves. A bulk is going to push both runners up. 
Colt Kim cannot hold back the bat swing as they're going to go down. It's up to Shock Hammer. And Hammer over the wall. That is a tie game. Oh, so yeah. Three run blast. Not expecting that out of him at that moment, but he's going to deliver. Kim Ji Woo is still in, and Thriller is going to push this one into a double. Savage into the outfield. I don't think it's going to have enough. We will see. OOTP has fooled me more than once, but it will be caught. Uh, they are hoping for no extra baseball here, but Dunkin' Donuts is going to draw a walk. This one is going to go to the outfield here. Good chance for OBX to get back out in front here. Strikeout by Garbanzo. Tunch Drenstro is going to draw a walk. Bases loaded situation for other Denstro. And oh no. Second baseman can't even pick it up and get an out. So there's your lead. Nice ability to block that by the catcher. But a walk here by Crunk Jr. is going to push in another run. And they'll get the runner at home, but not at first. They just need one more out to get out of this. And that is going to be it there as Henry stares at a strikeout. Buffalo hoping to keep their momentum going offensively. Wizard. Nice diving catch by the left fielder to take that away. That one's going deep into right field. And that is gone emphatically. Koala Kyle Ostoya. That's a solo blast, and we are within one. Cookie Monster down on strikes. Forbes Jr., it's all up to you. And he is going to go down on strikes. Out of giving Buffalo hope with that home run. We'll take it away. 8-7 is your final. Uh, Three-hit game for Okada Khan. Um, Henry with a three-run blast. Whole bunch of stats here, but LaRock the loss. Kim Ji Woo, the win despite that earned run. Player of the game is Dolores Clifton. Vandals are going to beat the Crabs 5 to 3. Uh, let me punch save. 11 hits to 6. So they're going to take this one. Lothbrock, the win. Couldn't buy a win if you were putting them on the penny sale last season, but we'll get one here early in uh, spring training. Of the game, Mr. Alligator. Pathfinder is going to take this one over the Voyager. 62 is your final on 12 hits. J. Dr. Jr. the win. Player of the game, J. Dr. Jr. Boise Raptors 4 1 over the Sloths. Cove is your player of the game and gets the win. Space Rangers pulling back to 500 as they take one off the Scorpions. 9 1 is your final. 16 hits into dirt is your player of the game. Stars back to 500. 4-1 over the Rougarous. Uh, actually, pretty low-hitting game. So it would make sense that a pitcher is your player of the game. Sea Serpents 5-4. They put four of those runs in the last two innings to take this one away from the Demons. Toros get another win here as they beat the Apex 8-3. Player of the game is Green Wall. Wheeler is beating Kingpins 6-5 as Kingpins score in the 6-7th. But Wheeler's score in the eighth, and that's enough to take the win. Brew City Bears, 9-4 over the Firehawks here. 12 hits to 11. Cashed in more when it counted. Dillos, 5-4 over the Ranas. Mingo is back to 500 as they beat the Swifties here. Waters, 5 is both the winner of this game and your player of the game. And the Lemurs back to 500 as well. As a ball will get the win, player of the game is by a ball. Alrighty, I think we do another game I had planned for today. It is the ninth, so we have New York versus Providence. Uh, I saw poor Matt Stroh is 0-4 here in spring training against Crab DePotson. Um, New York, I like the reverse um, batting order, given the uh, the newer, younger players the top batting spots instead of just keeping it status quo. I don't know if Enoch's here, but thumbs up for that. I did, 
That's a that's an interest. I like that idea. I'm gonna do that next spring training. That's fun for those players. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, we have some spies in attendance as Dan King is still working for the Vandals. I'm not sure if they would want, you know, New York to win, so maybe he pitches in for the Crabs team. Uh, Cod, uh, Providence's budget must have been tightening this offseason as he did not receive a uniform. Um, so, yeah. We should uh, probably get that cleared up ASAP. We'll get this started, though. Uh, what is our prediction? Who will win New York versus Providence? Uh, I was talking about people should bet. I'll bet. Vote. I still want to participate. Let's go. All right. Uh, leave the bet open for 15 more seconds. See what people are thinking. Um, yeah. What's... Uh, what are some games or stuff people are interested in or like excited to? I'm going to be doing this after. There's a player builder for Dragon's Dogma too, so I'm going to probably hit that up at some point today. So that'll be fun. I will close the bet. Okay, Schnee. I'm going to hit start game. Let's get her going here. Uh, strike out there. This one is hit into the outfield there by Kruger. They're going to get on first. That is single. Uh, double play there. Nice quick recovery there. Is, uh, there's going to be a zero on the board for the Voyagers. That is hit into the outfield. It's going to touch down as Gonzalez. 19 stolen bases with a 215 average. Gonzalez is on a freaking mission this spring training. Um, that is going to be high... Uh, deep enough. Wow, look at him go. His little sprite as he just chugs along. Um, as this small ball is going to pay off here as Providence will be the first ones on the boards. Gonzalez, speedy little thing. That has popped up center field and that'll be an out. But some good base running by Gonzalez gets his team on the board. Cove goes down on strikes. That's hit in the outfield and will be caught by the left fielder. The trio of coves for New York cannot get any offense going. Benito is able is going to uh, handcuff the second baseman with that hit. So I'll make it first, but Alou goes down on strikes. Dan King Jr. Uh, it's a fielder's choice at second. Cool crap. And they are going to make another play at second. Second baseman busy here in this inning. Staring strike out there by James at Dion. Moose. The moose is loose as that is into right field. Into Mars. Ageless Wonder is going to ground into a field of choice. Otage down on strikes. There is Cod right into the g -g 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 gap. That's at least a double. That is all they're going to settle for here. Not trying to get too crazy and push for a triple. Swing strike there by Gonzalez. Cove. That is past the shortstop. We'll see if they get charged an error on that one. They do not. That is into the gap. It's going to touch the wall here. That is one run. And that is all they're going to put up here. Good chance for them to push in more. That's going to be one. I get a th No, they hold the runner. I thought for sure that was going to be two. Won't matter, though. It's 3 nothing now for Providence as they are increasing that lead here. Benito is going to go down strikes. Alu, that is going to have too much hang time as it will be caught. Kruger dirts that one by the pitcher. They're going to throw him on it first. Thomas, down on strikes. Cove, to the second baseman, and they're out at first. King Jr. pops on one at the center field, and that is caught. Cool crap. Pass the first baseman into right field. Cod pops us one to left field, and that's caught. Runner stays at first. Two outs now. This should finish up the inning, and it will. No base running shenanigans for Gonzalez that time. Cove is going to punch this one to the right field. Strike out there by Cove. 
Strago there by Dion. Then a strike out there by Moose as grabbed the pots and said enough of these hits and just sits down with the next three batters. Cove is going to draw a walk. Goose mm, is going to beat the throw to first, so two on no out here. Fuse to the pitcher. They will make a play this time. Just one, though. Benito pushes that one up the middle, and that's going to be 4 nothing now here for the Crabs. Alou, nice dive and catch by the left fielder to take that away. Dan King Jr. down on strikes. Port ERA by Stroh is in the nines. That one is skied and caught. As Dusty DeSoto is in now. Sabotage. Double play ball. All right, just like that. Offense is done. Uh, Anchovy is in now as uh, Stroh's day is done. That one is going to touch the walls. Calvin Cool Crab gets a double here to lead us off. Caught. Pops that one up. Gonzalez. Uh, gets there and need that one a little too much and will be caught by the center fielder. So two out now. And Cove is going to go down on a strike. So unfortunately, Cool Crab's leadoff double is going to lead to nothing. Uh, Thomas is going to get underneath that one, and that is gone. So you later. Solo blast. Uh... Just like that, New York is on the board. Cove right at the first baseman. They didn't even have to move. This one is between the first and second baseman for Cove. I'm not going to define which Cove it is. I'm just going to keep saying Cove. Cove flies out. Dion goes down on strikes. One is all New York is going to have to settle for in that inning. Uh, they are running out of outs here quickly, though, so they have a bit of a hill to climb. Goose grounds out. Fuse. Skies that one in the center. That's caught. Bonito to the first baseman, and that's touched up. Last six outs here for New York. Make that five, as there's a pop-up there by Moose. Demars. That is going to touch down in front of the right fielder. Otage goes down on strikes. And Kruger touches that one down in front of the right fielder again. we got runners in the corners now. Two outs. Thomas down on strikes. Providence more focused on the top of the ninth than bottom of the eighth. But they'll take whatever offense that their team wants to give them. Alou with a double. King Jr. gets underneath that one, and that is gone. Two run blast. See ya. As Providence increases that lead six to one now. Cool Crab draws a walk. Cod into the gap. Are they going to add to the lead? No, they'll hold the runners, but still no outs here. Gonzalez is going to get tossed out, but will push another run across the plate. Cove. Diving catch by the center fielder will get the out, but another run scores. But the bases are empty, at least now. Last half full. Goose down on strikes. It is up to Cove, Cove, and Cove for New York. Cove down on strikes. Cove pops up, or line drives, I should say. And then Cove gets a hit, keeps this alive, two outs. Dion into left field on the warning track. That is caught. Eight to one is your finals. The crowds are going to take this one. Uh, Providence aside, literally everyone got a hit. Uh, couldn't ask for a better day than that from your lineup. Everyone contributing. Stroh will take their fifth loss of spring training. ERA of 9.74. Potson gets their first win. Player of the game is Krabs and the Pots. Surge are going to beat the Vandals here. 5-1 is your final and 8 hits. Hooper is going to get the win. Player of the game is Koala Kyle. Aviators 12-5 in spring training. 7-2. to 
Sheets gets the win. Player of the game is Brooks. Pathfinder shut out the sloss here for nothing. Thrasterson picks up the win. Player of the game, Thrasterson. Apex beat the Space Rangers. 8 to 1 on 14 hits. Former Space Ranger Rove getting the W and the player of the game. Rugurus, 3 0 over the Scorpions. Lycan gets a W and a player of the game. Sea Serpents, 11 and 6 now. 6 5 over the Toros. Tull gets the win. Player of the game was Wellerman. And Stars pull themselves above 500 as they beat the Demons 2 1. Hitsunu Miyagi gets the win. Player of the game, though, is Bader from Detroit. Rana is getting their 10th win of the year as they beat the Swifties 4 2. Win is Mitt. Player of the game is Bones. Hepcats get their 10th win over the Wheelers, 3-2. Win goes to Ziegler. Kingpins, uh, this one goes 13 innings, 4-3 over the Mingos. Wow, combined 29 hits between the teams, but only 7 runs. Uh, there must have been a whole whack of LOBs on that board. Firehawks pull above 500, 10-5 against the Dillas. A Lemurs also pull above 500, 5-0 against the Bears. That is going to do it for today. Uh, let's always punch save. Uh, what do we got tomorrow? It is my Pathfinders against the Boise Raptors. <clears throat> With my dog water pitcher. What can I say except you're welcome. Had one fairly good season. Comparatively to the rest of the pitcher of the year seasons was actually probably not that great <laughs> Just was best of the rest of that year, but it's since then realized that he's terrible and I'm getting to the point that I'm going to old yeller him. I feel like Bet is up over under runs uh, Over 2.5 runs under 2.5 runs by the end of the third Uh, Boise still in a bit of a rebuild here um, I feel like they kind of had a couple good pieces there but then they kind of ran out of steam and um, they're still maybe a year or two away from making some noise it's just a really tough conference the Voyagers kind of take a step back of it but then they still have enough to get themselves in the playoffs as they've shown for like 20 plus seasons now uh, Providence had a down year last year. Um, came up like one game short against Buffalo. But you, you th figure that they would be a leader for one of those three or four spots. And I think the Sloths are still ahead of Boise and Vancouver. But. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> we will get this going here. Have a fun old time. <laughs> Leading us off is Allen, and they're going to draw a walk. Emerness down on strikes. There goes the runner. Throw is not in time, so there's a safe stolen bag. That's going to be the infield. We'll see if there's an early one. It is not as they hold the runner vacuum there goes the runner again gonna be safe so unless they can get some ground out some pop outs here there's gonna be some guaranteed runs here for Boise as base is loaded one out double play ball and they're actually gonna turn it so sigh of relief from Toronto's side but 26 pitches already here for what can I say spring training it's gonna be a short day period but Walk here by Mo Love. Zach Johnson Jr. That's the third base. Double play ball, but they're just going to turn the leadoff runner. Dinamite. That's the third. They're going to be tossed out. So Toronto and Boise both zeros on the board. Ground out here will be tossed out at first. Nakamura tries to go up the middle, but a nice shift by the second baseman to run that one down. 
And then a strike out there. Ixon able to draw a walk against Ovechkin. Lewis down on strikes. Mills. That's double play. No. There's lack of double plays right now. Death to the second baseman will be tossed at first, and ground outs will be the death of this team as they as they are out. Dynasty goes down on strikes. Back to the top of the lineup here. They're the ones who did some damage last time around. We'll see if they can do it again as Allen. See if they go for the old stolen base. There they go. And they're going to be safe. This one is hit deep to right field, but is caught. Runner does move up to third, though. Ball in play, scores a run, but a strikeout there by Magic will end that rally. Patter to third. They're going to be tossed over first. Brinkley Jr. is going to drop this into left field. That's a tidy little single. Mo Love. Puts that one into the good, 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 good gap. And there goes the runner to the third. They are going to hold them, though. So two on, one out. Johnson is going to sacrifice an out to get a run across. And there's your first lead of the game. Dinamite cranks that one. That is going deep. And the unders in shambles. Two run blast by Dinamite. See you later. Three nothing. Unders hanging their head in between their legs. They are shattered as that is going to end that bet right there. Uh, hello, Raiders from EVC in NYC2. Welcome. Uh, as we are in PBE spring training number two. It's the last day of spring training here as we move towards the regular season. Um... I'm trying to remember what some of these... There you go. There's create a player link for you. Um, obviously, we are... I will beg people to please join the league. We need some more people coming in the league on a regular basis. Uh, we are suffering the COVID crash like everyone is. So please feel free to join. Uh, very friendly league. A lot of helpful people might seem daunting at first but i assure you it is a lot of fun uh, as someone who's been here from season one which started back in like uh 2017 i think maybe now so i've been here for all 40 plus seasons now currently a gm of the pathfinders um yeah so join up welcome any questions feel free to ask in chat it is spring training we're pretty lax here right now uh when the regular season starts totally dialed in and focused but feel free to ask i'm sure people answer in chat i will answer myself uh, but yeah as uh there's gonna be ground out here as we are moving along here into the fifth inning there is a ground out there shortstop counter will be tossed out at first harvey brinke jr cannot hold back the swing they are going to be out two out now that is up the middle gonna drop in front of the center fielders mo love is on base johnson jr Puts this one deep. I don't think it's going to have enough as, yes, it will be caught short of the warning track. 3 nothing is all we're going to have. Uh, for, as far as the wheelies go, there has been no wheelie streams today. I think the wheelies were streamed in spring training one. I'm trying to target teams that were not on stream last spring training. Um, so that would be more of a check the index after probably to double check if uh, the player has done anything today. So... Uh, just like that, that is going to be another inning pretty much done. We have pitching changes. McChapper person is in. Dinamite will ground out, though. That is hit into the outfield and run down by the right fielder. Quick two outs there. And then Lewis. No. Uh, what? Catcher's interference. That is a first. I have not seen that uh, called in a game in my stream so far. So interesting. Uh, two on, two out. But Deathridge will go down on strikes as Toronto's threatening, but we come up short on that. Uh, Saturday stream is really up to the streamer. Um, we kind of go on a streamer streamer basis. The target for most streams is 7 p.m. EST during the week. Saturday generally is on the afternoon. 
Um, I take a lot of the Saturday streams because it's the easiest day for me to pick up. So like uh, today, next Saturday, and the Saturday after are actually all myself. So I generally target 1 p.m. EST. Uh, I have a little one, so it's the most convenient for me to like do this while my wife watches him. Normally he naps part of it. Um, but today was a little bit later because F1 was on and I wanted to watch it. So um, yeah, that's like the main thing is I'm used to F1 races being on the Sunday, so it normally doesn't interfere, but generally I would say it's uh, afternoon, yeah. Uh, what out there, as we're moving along, this is seventh here, is this uh, is really kind of a pitching slash defensive duel as Mo Love will fly out. We are down to the last six outs here for Boise. Jacques Toussaint is in. They're going to get a ground out there. Allen pops this one up. It's got a hard curve on it, and there's a free out there in foul territory. Emeritus one goes down on strikes. Johnson Jr. cranks this one into the good, 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 good gap as that is going to be a double. Well, he's chugging hard. Is he going to go for three? He is. How do you not score a run with no outs and a man on third? Let's see if that can be. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I thought for sure. As Dinamite keeps up his hot spring training. That is gone. I'll see ya. Two run blast. As uh, they cash in immediately here. Um, and that is five nothing. Ixon draws a walk. Jeff Lewis as Jun Cook comes in. That is down the third baseline. Uh, are they going to send the runner? They are. He's chugging hard. Someone get him a ventilator when he gets off. That is some aggressive base running. 6 nothing now. That is to the shortstop and grounded up first, but they will score another run. There is a walk drawn by Deathridge as they keep this going here. That is up the middle and is going to drop in front of the center fielder. Runners on first and second. Double play will get them out of it. Uh, not going to be able to get that, but uh, they'll still take it out. Mo Love down on strikes. That'll finally end it. Last three outs here for Boise. Uh, they got McMagic, Vacuum, and Cove up. Uh, that is an unfortunate free out. No! All right, he drops it. So no out, but they're gonna strike out anyways. That is that is sadness all around. <laughs> you get a second chance, and oh no, uh, that is over the right or sorry, third baseman's head in the left field. There's a single. That is past the first baseman. So now we have two on, one out. Boise threatening. Leg. Down on strikes as Jif Skipson is in. And then that is going to be a staring strikeout by Nakamura. 7-0 is your final. Toronto will take this one. Uh, Dinamite, uh, two home runs. Going to be four of those RBIs. Big difference maker in this one. Ovechkin takes the loss. whole bunch of holds here. What, ex what can I say except you're welcome. Gets the win. Player of the game is Dinamite. Punch the old save button and let's run through these. Sloss, 10 to 4 is your final here. As Squirrel Pick with the win, player of the game is Brown. Um, also, sorry, Raiders that are here. We generally would look at these box scores and go more in depth uh, so people can see more stats, take screenshots for the locker rooms. But since this is spring training and we're trying to keep a breakneck pace, uh, we generally just go over it like this to keep things moving here since it's kind of a lot more low key. Uh, New York Voyagers get back to 500 as a bit of a scoring game here as they beat the Surge 13-8. Uh, three home runs, but that score, so uh, some more timely hitting, I think. Vandals, 4-0. They shut out the Aviators here. Shepard, the W, player of the game, Shepard. Uh, Stars pick up their 10th win against Sea Serpents. 4-1 is your final as they triple the hits on them. Cream, the win. Player of the game, Jones. I don't, I'm not sure if McGritty is still here. Death Valley Scorpions, 6-2 over the Detroit Demons. Striker's going to pick up the win. Andrew, player of the game. Lunar Base Space Rangers back to 5 hundy as they beat the Toros 8-6 on 12 hits. Player of the game is Chains. Rougarous, 1-0 against the Apex. Pitcher's Duel. 
Eshelman Jr. the win and your player of the game. California Firehawks. I don't know if there's anyone for Firehawks here, but for the love of God, change your jerseys. That was like a um, charity drive jersey that they put on. Those things are hideous. Someone save that team and get some proper jerseys back in there. Those are an eyesore. 6-4 uh, is your final as they put up a bunch of runs late here to steal this one from the Swifties. Player of the game is Smalls. Lemurs beat the Dillos. 3-2. Close one as they almost blew it in the top of the ninth, but they will squeak out a win. The Ranas beating the Mingos, 6-4. Wheelers beat the Bears, 5-1. Uh, Mitchell Jr. will get the win. Andrew player of the game. And last but not least, Kingpin squeak past the Hepcats. 2-1 is your final. Blanco the win. Player of the game is, I think it's Red Panda. That it is. And that's going to do it for today. I think I hit save, but let's hit it again. Never going to be too safe. Move forward today. Let's take a look at our matchups. Uh, so today is the 11th. We have another stream game before we punch off a bunch of quick streams. How are we doing for time? We're doing great. Um, so Nashville against DVS. Uh, I believe there is another bet up. Who scores last? Nashville versus DVS. Again, like I said, what are you going to use your challenge points for? Um, I know what 10,000 gives you a million dollars on the website, but like, you know, you might as well bid them. It's going to take a while to do it. Get those bids in. Uh, where is my game? I am blind. There it is. Uh, give a chance for the teams to ping their locker rooms if they want. Let them know that they are up and a chance for some more channel points to get thrown down. Um, if no one's going to bid on Nashville, I will. Why not? What else am I going to do with my points? I'm also like almost a billionaire, so I don't really need the money. This does break my heart, though, looking at Nashville, seeing Pilzutski playing for them. Did not want to trade them, but a salary cap is a thing. Uh, we can see Death Valley pretty much running back the same lineup they had last year. Nashville, a lot of new faces for them. Um, Nashville needs to uh, contact their uniform department as uh, they seem to have not been able to get uniforms to all the new players. Poor Hayden Anders Jr. is wearing his miner's gear stare. Uh, we'll see if Jake Kulik Warren is going to sabotage Nashville being a former Scorpion themselves. We have Johnny Tsunami 2 against Guy Manuel Olor. Uh, let the protection go for about 10, 15 more seconds, then we'll get this thing going. All right, we will get this going. Yeah, you can leave it up. That's That bet can probably be left up until like... Yeah, a little while. All right, uh, looking at that, we have a pop out there. There's a toss out at first. And then a staring strikeout there. So quick one, two, three there. Jose 43 goes down on strikes. Pilsatsky tries to go up the middle. And they're going to have so much force in the ball that that's going to be a drop. That is hit to left field and caught. Taylor pops that one up and both teams are going to have to settle for zeros on the board to start us off here that is popped up and caught pop ups is the name of the game here early apparently salmon arms that's going to be a ooh, showing off the fact he caught that we'll see if uh, Death Valley takes that to heart with um, some showboating there but a staring strikeout was going to end that inning. So uh, that's a no for now so far. Kulik Warren draws a walk. That is popped up but caught by the second baseman. Second baseman to the shortstop. That'll get one. Uh, and this will have to be your third one as that is skied and caught. Stern 
is going to just sneak that one over the wall. That is gone. Uh, short went at 360 feet, but it still gets his job done. I'll show you later. Solo Blast has DDS on the board here early. That is the third toss to first. Osman gets tossed out at first as well. Great card. So one is going to be all DBS is going to have to settle for, but they'll take it for now because that has them in the lead. 43, shortstop. That's out as we are just cruising along here. That is hit into the outfield and caught by the center field. Pazelski trying to go for the gap, hitting all those doubles last season. That is popped up center field and caught. Strike out there by Essence. Salmon Arms. Drops this one in the center field. So two out rally? Question mark. Uh, that's a no. As that is going to be caught. Wow, that's their second baseman is running all over the outfield. Taking work away from the outfielders. The outfielders might want to speak to their work reps as they are having their work taken away from them. Valor Jr. Pops up. So does Taylor. Kulik Warren. Going to stare a strikeout. King. No relation to Dan King Jr. Even though they are named Daniel King. That is popped in the outfield. Diving catch as uh, they are showboating out there in the outfield for Nashville. Making diving catches all over the places. Strike out there. We are ready into the bottom of the fifth as we only have four hits total. And home runs are going to be the name of the game here as that is gone. So ya. Bailey Jones, first HR of spring training, ties us up at one. That's it first touched up. Uh, Wiz Nation, of course, like Dynamic said, ask any question. It could be directed to me. It could be a general question. And I'm sure people will answer it if it is league related. 1-1 one, one is the score here as there is only five combined hits. The pitcher is putting on a clinic. And as we've seen, the outfielders diving everywhere. There's grass stains all over all the equipment. I do not myself. Um, sh stream Deck, do you mean Steam Deck? Or is Stream Deck also a thing? Swinging strike out there by Pilsetsky. Swinging strike out there. Valor Jr., Ends the trend of swing strikeouts and punches a single in an outfield. Um, I've never heard of that, so I can't say. That is over the center fielder's head. That is going to put Nashville in the lead here. Kulik Warren will ground out, though, so they're just going to have to settle for one. We are still tight, tight, tight in this one. Salmon Arms, that's a scary-looking ball, but will be caught at the wall. Herrero draws a walk. King, that's a double play ball, and that is going to be a double play. Nashville hoping they can increase this lead as this is too tight for anyone's liking. Nashville flies out. And Andrews Jr., that's to second, but not back to first. Swing straight out there by Sakudo. DBS down to their final six outs. Stern starts us off really well, though, with a leadoff double. <clears throat> One of those situations, you have to put the run home. Swing straight out here by Gonzalez Jr. Ostman. Pushes the runner up, but they are running out of outs here. Hard. Oh, isn't even going to have to do anything as a wild pitch pushes into the run. You hate to see it. 2-0. Two 2-0. No two 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 two. As uh, Nashville hoping to get that lead back here. 43 cannot check the swing. Pilsatsky gets a hold out, and that's going deep center. That is gone. See you later. Just like that, Nashville back out in front. Valor Jr. stares at a strikeout. Taylor, down on strikes as well. DBS now playing the chase game once again. 
probably three of the batters you would want up in your lineup. But Max Power is going to go down to strikes. Essence going to... Ha this one has a forever hang time as it is caught by the left fielder. That one's going to the gap, though. As Salmon Arms keep this thing alive, they're just going to have a double, though. Verrero, can they make this touchdown? It is not going to as it is run down. That is going to do it. Timely home run by Nashville. Takes this one away. 3-2 is your final. Only 10 combined hits. As uh, just one little mistake by the pitcher is what is going to do this one in for them. Pilsetsky, 2-4, 1 RBI. Tsunami goes the distance. How often you see that in uh, spring training? Uh, Irvin Trout gets a win and a blown save as Jones picks up the save. Player of the game is Guy Manuel Lore on Nashville's side. 6 Ks, 1 walk, 3 hits. Punch of the save button here. OBX keeps up their winning ways in spring training. 4-3 to three is your final on 11 hits. Uh, Johnson will pick up the win. Johnson is your player of the game. Sloss beats Surge 3-1. Psyduck gets the win. And your player of the game. Vandals beating the Raptors 8-3 to three here. As they score early. Hold on to it to get the win. Ford the win. Banana Boom player of the game. Crabs beat the Pathfinders 5-2. Samson the win. And your player of the game. Toros shut out. The Ruger was 2-0 here. Oh, wow. They get out hit 11-4. But it doesn't matter. Looter base gets double digit wins. 10-9 and nine now. 4-0 against Sea Serpents. Apex 8-2 eight, eight over the Demons. Simicalis Jr. the win. Now we saw that game. Uh, Kingpins, 14 wins now, spring training. 6 and 1 over the Aranas. Win goes to Bauer 3, player of the game Bauer 3. Wheelers beat the Dillos 5 3 on 11 hits. Conus the win, lead the player of the game. Bears 3 to 2 over the Hepcats. Fordham the win, Knight, your P O T G. Lemurs pick up another win here. 6 1 against the Swifties. Julian the win. And Mingos getting back in the win column here. 9 to 4 over the Firehawks. Waters for the win. Player of the game is 43. Uh, pretty sure I hit save. Do it again. Oh, I gotta stop yawning. Matchups. We have two days of quick sims. Let's go. Outer Banks keeps up their winning ways here. Uh, this one goes 14 innings, but they'll take this one 4-3 against the Sloss. Blizzy the win. Player of the game is Hangman. Vandals win again. 6-0 against the Voyagers. Lothbrok picks up a win and is your player of the game. Pathfinders beat the Surge 11-4. Uh, Doctor gets the win. Lewis, your player of the game. Crabs beating the Raptors 7-3. Meta the win, and your player of the game. Rugurus beat the Space Rangers in extra innings. Um, Rugurus tie it and squeak by with the win, 4-3 here. Combined 27 hits, but only 7 runs. Player of the game, Slossberg. Stars beat the Apex, 5-4. Uh, kind of a lower hitting game, considering the amount of runs, but there you have it. Demons 10-8 against the Toros. Offensive game for both teams there. Greenwalls had quite a few players of the game and picks up another one here. Sea Serpents over the Scorpions 7-2. They put four runs on the top of the ninth. Choi the win. Jacob, your player of the game. Dillos beating the Hepcats 20-7. We'll take a look at that box score. Um... A lot of pinch hitters here for Kansas City side. Uh, eight RBI game here for Grand Slammed Off. Five for seven, eight RBIs. That's more than half of their entire spring training RBIs are right there. Um, yeah, poor uh, Sox maybe getting blown up there. Kingpins, one nothing. The absolute polar opposite of the last game we just looked at against the Brew City Bears. 
get out hit, but it doesn't matter. A lemurs. This one goes extras, and they're going to squeak by the Mingos here, 4-3. Wheelers win again, 7-6 against the Swifties here. So they're on a bit of a recovery streak. And last but not least, this one goes to extras as the Ronas tie it and take it in the 11th as they improve to 12-8. and eight. Uh, That'll do it for today. I'm pretty sure it's saved already, but we can always save again. Moving forward, check our matchups. Another quick sim day. Voyagers over the Raptors here, 5-1. and one. Raptors having a bit of a tough spring training. They're hoping that this is not a reflection of the season to come, I bet. Stro finally gets their first winter spring training, trying to shake off the rust before the season starts. Vandals almost 500, 9-5 against the Sloss here. Aria picks up their fourth win. Player of the game is Alligator. <coughs> Crabs over the surge, eight to six. Wow, combined twenty-eight hits. Uh, everyone trying to get those AVGs up in this one. Aviators shut out the Pathfinders, ten nothing. Uh, Sheets gets the win and is your player of the game. Three errors on Toronto side. Yikes. Uh, Toros and Stars, twelve to ten. A bit of a barn burner there. Uh, combined hits, thirty-three. Win will go to Ishioka. Player of the game is Joseph Apils Sutsi. Apex, 10-2 over the Scorpions. Rove will get the win, but the player of the game is going to go to McKenzie. Oh, sorry. I had to focus there after I just scratched my eye there. Uh, sea Serpents beat the Rugurus there. 3-0. Three, Three hits. Both teams make an error. That would have been a fun one. Question mark to watch. Space Rangers back over 500. 2-1 as they're going to beat the Demons. Hypocrites, the win, and your player of the game. Hepcats beat the Swifties 7-3 here. Uh, Jones will get the win. Player of the game is Cow. Rouge City, 6-1. Kelly, the win, and the player of the game. Firehawks, 3-0 over the Kingpins here as Madsen will get the W and your player of the game. Mingos beat up on the wheelies a bit here. 11 of 4 here on 13 hits. Player of the game is going to be Southworth. And Lemurs shut out the Ranas 10 0. Next gets the win and your player of the game. Move forward today. Hit save. Check our matchups. It is going to be Louisville against California. And then we got two more quick sim days and then we're going to be done. Uh, where is that game? Right here. Uh, prediction is up. Who scores first, Louisville or Cal? <coughs> I'll let this go for about 30 seconds and then we'll get her going. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. We got Shram against Bill Pitt. Early walk here for Shrimp McDaniel. McCannon. As they're going to turn two. Not often you see that in the minors. Uh, double plays on stream for a minors game is rare. Uh, not a big defensive uh, force here in the minors normally. Uh, that is going to be your three outs though. As we hit reset and move towards the Far Hawks batting. Reeves. That's an out. Raka. Flies out. Hernandez. Hits that one to the outfield and will touch down. So there's a single. Uh, they don't steal, so we don't need to watch for that. Uh, but there's going to be free out there behind the plate. 
Hartman up. Down on strikes. Nick Jr. Fast to third baseman and handcuffs him as they are going to make it to first. That is up the middle here. Runner goes to third aggressively. They're going to throw it home in uh, fear. Good chance for the Dills here to get on the board early. Bird. That is going to be deep enough, I think. And that is going to do it as they are safe. Bet is done. Walk there. So two out, two on. Bolt is going to drop this in the outfield there. Let's see if they send the runner. They do. That's going to double the lead. Two nothing. McDaniel to shortstop. Can't make the play. Uh, Pitt in some danger here. This should be playable, and they make no play again. 3 nothing now. That is going to hopefully be an out for the Firehawks, and it finally is, but damage is done. 3 nothing. That is hit to the outfield and caught. Snake. That's two out. This one's hit hard, but a diving catch by the left fielder takes that one away. Hartman. That, well, it was caught by the left fielder. Thought that was going to be a drop down single, but uh, my eyes deceived me. Uh, thought Pitt was going to get through this inning quicker, but a walk is going to keep this thing going, but a pop up will finally get them out of it. And that's going to do it. Smalls in between the two infielders. That is a leadoff single. Malarkey. Uh, double play? No, just the leadoff. Reeves. That's it high, deep, and gone. I'll see ya. Two run blast, just like that. Firehawks are back in this game. Raka into left field will touch down Hernandez that is in between the legs of the second baseman so we got runners in the corners now uh, deep pop fly will tie this uh, or oh no they didn't make the out <laughs> all right uh, no plays made and uh, we got a tie game just like that Jimothy jr. They don't tag the runner up to third. That would have been this tying run, but they already got it. Bases loaded. Situation for Scott. And they are going to ground out. But California will take a full reset in the game home as a win, regardless, I think. Keeley. That's a single. Bolt. Mm, they're just going to get one. Pitching change, uh, no, not pitching change. Pinch hitter as catch. Oh, no throw again. So two out, two on. BD Jr. draws a walk, so base is loaded. Pitt just needs one to get out of this. Not going to even have the attempts to as Jose 43 Jr. comes in, and they will get the ground out. Toss the runner at second. California with a sigh of relief. Grounded out there. Malarkey. That's a single. Reeves. Tries to go up the middle, but uh, they're just going to force their leadoff runner to get tossed out. Raka. There goes the runner. Safe at second. And sounded big off the bat. Almost went yard, but fell a little short. Into the fifth now here as Junior is going to sky that one into center field and out of the cock. Dan draws a walk. There's your pitching gene. Or no, another pinch hitter? Yep. As uh, Artav is in. KK goes down. And we are reset here as Zen grounds out. Sporger. Goes down on strikes. Timothy Jimothy Jr. Hops up to right field. And that'll be caught. 
Both teams scoring here early, getting hits here early, but it's since dried up now as uh, we've been stuck at 3-7 with both teams for a while. And it's not getting much better as there's two outs there. And Cannon down on strikes. There's your pitching change finally as Bembot McFraud is in. And that is going to be a, we'll say a pop out to left. Scott up the middle is going to break the streak of no hits. Smalls draws a walk. So two on, one out. New fan just hoping they don't ground into double play. And they won't as they are going to draw up. Base is loaded for Reeves. Draws a walk. And so California ties it up just like that as McFraud has now walked three batters. This should be deep enough. No. All right. We're trying to go up the middle, and they're going to get out. So the California Bats can't get anything done. They have to rely on the Dillos walking them home, essentially, to get a lead in this game. Graves dropping in a single. Hartman doing the same thing, pretty much the same spot. Good start here for the Dillos. Pinch hitter, uh, Javier Franco goes down on strikes. Captain Clover is in for pinching. For pinching, for hitting. They're going to pop out. And that's going to be ground runner first. Huh. Two on, no out. And they bungle it, as uh, that is unfortunate. Uh, Splorger, not quite a free out as it was still in play, but just behind the first baseman. Scud Missile is going to allow a hit here from Jimothy Jr. Snake down on strikes. Scott to third. And he tossed it there. Six outs left to work here for the Lemurs as that is into the outfield. I'm pretty sure I've been saying Devils too. What am I on right now? It's the Lemurs. If Captain SB was here, he would kill me. Um, <clears throat> two on, one out, McCannon. That is up the middle. Bases loaded. Two outs to work with. Graves, what do you got against Sloth Nation? And they are going to throw the run out at home. Don't get the double play at first. Oh, no. A bulk ties it. OOTP, what are you doing? And then that's going to end the inning. That just... No matter how you slice, it doesn't feel good. I hate how they save all the bulks, the wild pitches, and the absolute shenanigans for the live stream games. Just silly. There's your first out there. New fan, down on strikes. Reeves, down on strikes. Uh, can the Lemurs take the lead here and try not to have this go to extra innings? Uh, Franco's going to sky that one in the right. Clover, down on strikes. And that one drops to the center, so we are still going here with two out here. Gordon, down on strikes. Firehawks, probably hoping they can walk this off here as Raka is on. And they're going to drop this to the center field. Nice start to this one. Single. Zen with the butt. Oh, my. Um... Oh my. <laughs> Pop fly bunt doesn't move the runner. Then they pick the runner at first, and then they'll make the play at first. Yes. Good God. What it what is this sim on sometimes? That was terrible to watch. <coughs> Lead off single here for Bolt. We'll see if the Lemurs can do something with this. Last couple innings have just been a mess. Pop fly there. Strike out there. And then a ground third, they'll get the runner at second. We are going to the bottom of the 10th. King Julian is in. Timothy Jimothy Jr. will fly out of center. Snick. Two short stop. They're out first. Quick two outs there. This game has gone so long that we have now changed to evening. Grounder there by Smalls will get the runner at first, and that's going to end it. We are going to inning 11. More free baseball. Hartman. That 
That's going to be caught. Javier Franco. Down on strikes. Clover. Pops this one up in the left field. And caught. New fan. Two second baseman. That is toss up first. Reeves. Gets a hold of that one. That is going to end it right here. One hit. Bam. Boom. Solo blast. See ya. Firehawks spare us from a 20 inning game. And that's going to finish us up. Um, OBS seemed to freeze on me there. Everyone can still see my stream. Yes. Uh, 5-4 is your final. Firehawks going to take this one off that solo blast. My God, so many pinch hitters for Louisville. All the pitchers pitched. Big Lick gets the win. Crap, loss. Player of the game is Bass Reeves. Crabs, 12 to 4 over the Aviators on 15 hits. Daly will get the win. Uh, cool Crab had two home runs. Is your player of the game. Surge gets double digit wins here over the Raptors, 3 to 1. Player of the game is Joe, Bazooka Joe. Vandals get to 5 hundy as they beat the Pathfinders here, 5 2 on 11 hits. Uh, former Pathfinder, Mauer's going to get the win. Former Vandal. Bring the loss and formal pathfinder <laughs> Shepard will get your player of the game. Voyagers get back to 500 here. Three to two is your final against the Sloss. Win Patey Jr. version two. Player of the game Patey version two for two. Space Rangers six to two over the Stars. Macarena is the winner and your player of the game. Apex back to 500 as they beat the Sea Serpents three two. Bubbles picks up a W. Player of the game is Stun Gun. Toros over the Scorpions, 6-4. Fielder picks up a win. Salmon Alarms, player of the game. Uh, that's on DVS side, so player of the game the losing cause. Demons over the Rougarous, 5-3. Wow, we'll get the win. And player of the game. Down to the minor State College get to double-digit wins for preseason is up. 7-5 over the Bruce City Bears. They get out hit. Hits don't matter. Kansas City Hepcats beat the Mingos 9-5. Uh, 43 will get the player of the game and the losing cause. Wheelers get to double digits as they shut out the Rhinos 3-0. Mitchell Jr. gets the win and your player of the game. And last but not least, Kingpins beat the Dillos 4-1 here. Blanco the win. Player of the game is, I think that's Yunus Cove. Yeah. So punch save. We are going to look at our matchups. We have two more days of quick sims, and we are done spring training. As we go, move on to the games that everyone is excited about. The games that matter. Vandals get over 500 now. 5-3 to three over the Crabs. 14 hits. Wakefield picks up a win. Ford, your player of the game. Pathfinders pitching duel here. One nothing against the Voyagers. Starscream picks up the win. Andrew player of the game. Aviators 11 of 4 over the Surge. Azwaje the win. Garbanzo player of the game. Raptors finally get one in the win column here. 4 to 3 over the Sloss. As Wood Healy's gets the win. Player of the game uh, in the losing cause is Cy Duck. Rigurus over the Stars 13 to 6. On 19 hits. Wow, they beat up Nashville pitching in this game. Nick 43, the win. Player of the game is a hot dog. It sure is. Lunar base. Beating Death Valley 3-1. This one takes extra innings, but they get it done to the top of the 10th. Man of right, play of the game. Demons, 8-2 over the Sea Serpents. Macintosh the win. And your player of the game. Apex beating the Toros, pulling themselves back above 500. 6-1 is your final. Samascus Jr., win and player of the game. Kingpin, 6 nothing shutting out the Lemurs. Winner will be Bauer 3, player of the game, Bauer 3. Hapcats beat the Ranas, 
Uh, Rana's not a lot of errors. Hepcats all the hits. Dillos get a win as they beat the Swifties 3-2 on eight hits. Rockefeller the win. Player of the game, Gritty. Brew City 6-4 over the Mingos. Get out hit, but hits don't matter. Player of the game, McRoyden and stuff. And the Wheelers beat the Firehawks 11-4 and 14 hits. Conus the win. Williams, your player of the game. And last but not least, final sim of the day, I believe. I think this is spring training. We'll double check. But Pathfinders are going to beat the Sloth 6 to 4 is your final on 12 hits. Wind Dr. Jr., player of the game, Dr. Jr. Uh, Voyager is going to finish off 500 here, as well as the Crabs. 3 to 1 is your final here. Gosden pitches the win and player of the game. Raptors pick up another win as they beat the Aviators 6 to 2. Chapter person the win. Player of the game is Cove. Surge. 4-3 uh, over the Vandals. Finished one short of 500. Player of the game is Clifton. Rugurus over the Scorpions. 8-1. to one. Close out spring training here at 14-10. and 10. Player of the game is Slothsburg. Demons. 5-2 over Nashville. Man the win. And play the game. Sea Serpents 4 to 3 over the Toros. Mad of the win. Player of the game is Choi. And then the Apex over the Space Rangers 8 to 3. Mackenzie is your player of the game. Uh, update the players tomorrow afternoon. What do we need to do it today to get the players for next week? Um, I believe the hard deadline for player updates, in order for it to be accepted or to expect it to be processed and accepted, is Sunday. At 12 p.m. EST. Uh, I believe noon is kind of like the accepted hard cutoff on a Sunday for updates. I would suggest always, if you want to make sure it gets in, do it on Saturday. Um, because if you leave it to Sunday and there's anything that happens in the morning to delay you, um, if it's afternoon, right, um, then the updater's really don't have to do it like if your team has not been updated yet and it's 1 p.m right then you should be fine it should get processed i'm not saying that if you do it afternoon it won't be done i just mean that if the updater has gotten to your team already and then you try to submit it and it's after 12 it's fully within their right to just say it waits till next week so um mingos are gonna beat the dillos here five to two is your final on 12 hits waters five the win and your player of the game. State College finally gets in the win column here as they've just been taking L's here this stream. 2 nothing over the Kingpins, limiting them to just three hits. Nansen is your player of the game. Rana's beat the Bears 5-3 as Yaj finishes their perfect spring training 4-0. Player of the game is So. Uh, Wheeler's going to come up just short of 500 here as the Lemurs are going to spoil that party. Five runs in the bottom of the eighth are going to take this one away from them here. Seven to three is your final. And Firehawks, three to two over the Hepcats. Uh, player of the game is Rocka. Do, 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 do. Um, 16th, we're going to hit save. We'll push it forward one day. And opening day is the 20th so that is it for spring training just like that we are done uh we'll hit save one more time uh I'm trying to think of what fun we can look at i guess we can look at preseason predictions although it is going to be horribly off because like i said a lot of teams have players playing out of position um but i mean it's always fun to have a look but we'll see what we'll see what insanity it comes up with Oh, they have not been generated. We made first time you visit screen during spring training on the first day of spring training in online leagues. Okay, well, we're going to have to wait for that then. Uh, maybe it'll be up on the actual, uh, uh, what am I trying to think of? On the index, but we'll see. Uh, we can at least see where teams ended up in spring training here. Um, like I said, Champions East is going to be an absolute slugfest. Um It'll be impossible, obviously, for all four teams to make it. Three out of the four definitely could. Um, 
but it's going to be it's going to be a tight one here as uh, you know Seattle, Cancun are for sure I think going to be fighting for it. Nola I think is maybe a little bit still too far away to really be competing for a playoff spot, um, but I think they're going to be. Um, like you're not going to roll in a NOLA and be like, oh, automatic win for sure. Especially if you're playing in their, their home turf. Um, but all four of these teams, I think, definitely have a shot for the playoffs. I think Lunar Bay still might hold a slight advantage to take the division. Um, but it, it's close. It's really close. So good luck with those season predictions is all I can say. I mean, honestly, Legends East is kind of the same, to be honest. I think the Voyagers and Crabs are a little bit ahead of both of Aviators and Surge, but like OOTP likes to just random buff players and teams from time to time and just like slap other ones. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if some wonky and crazy stuff happens. Uh, here's a quick look at your batting leaders. Um, we can just see what fun people had in spring training as far as like home run stuff it's so funny that alligator has a war but no one else does uh, but vidal valor jr uh that's a hot spring training there 10 home runs and then your pitching leaders john marston 0.36 era coming out of the pen And then Rosas, that's quite the K versus a nine rating. But anyways, we will get this uploaded. Uh, where do I go again? No, it's not here. Yes, it is. Commissioner's office. All right. Go to punch execute. We'll get this loaded. Um, now's the usual thing. Uh, you can ask the booth um, while this kind of uploads. It goes fairly quickly for me. Um, but you guys can ask me anything PBE related. Um, you can ask me some fun, silly questions, whatever you want, just to pass the time on those uploads. If everyone just wants to step off and enjoy their weekend, then you can do that as well. But uh, thanks for joining me. I will see you all next Saturday uh, for sure, if you're stepping out. <clears throat>
unless they were waiting for regression to be posted. I'm not sure what you mean by not in bank. Like, I'd have to, like, it, did you just create or is your player like a season or two older? As far as the actual banking sheet, if you're wondering about like what money you have in there, um, sometimes it takes a week or so for those transactions to be um, like recorded, but any withdrawals you make those are immediate so if you buy equipment this week it may not reflect in your bank but you can claim that tp as long as you had the appropriate money to buy that <clears throat> but like i said it should just be the let me go to my update thread i'm not sure if that'll help do 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 So like for me this is what my update th looks right now. I have the AC linked, my one million training is spring training, and then obviously there's my total with the new added amount, and then obviously however I'm doing my update uh, is reflected through this. TP tracker doesn't reflect the things I've done. No, so the TP tracker, if you're looking at this, this is just to show you like where you would stand in your draft class, right? So if I was to do, oh God, what season is my player again? 36. And then we sort by total TPE, right? There's my total TP, which is 1683, which makes sense. That's exactly what it is. But the 14 I'm gaining this week would not obviously reflect here because until my update is done by our updater, which would be tomorrow, then it wouldn't, my roster page wouldn't be changed. And this pulls info from your roster page. So. Right, this is my new total TPE, but as far as what it is currently, this is what it is. So if we go to my roster page, which instead of updates, we go roster, right? That's my TP right now. So that's what the TPE tracker is pulling from. Until they go in and edit this and add that 14, right? Once they do that, this will change. And then whenever this runs its like auto, like pickup, like it's scrubber, then it'll change it on the TPE tracker. Uh, bank TPE is just like, um, in my case, my stuff costs too much to buy anything. So where am I again? So in this case, right, I have all these skills that are maxed out. Um, I'm not really going to buy hold runners. All I'm interested right now is to buy more sinker. But for each skill point, it costs four TPE. I only have three, right? So I add the two to my bank. Now I have three banks. So that just means next week if I claim, um, let's say I get 14 TPE again, but now I have three banked, I can pull two from that, add it to the 14 I just gained, and now I can spend 16. But then this would reduce to one. It's just kind of like carryover is the best way to put it. <clears throat> So eventually in the miners, when you hit the 350 cap, like TPE cap, then you'll just start banking TPE because you can't spend them more than 350 total on a build. So you just start depositing it into your bank um, for later. So whenever you are called up, right, your actual TPE might be 600, but then 250 is quote unquote banked. 
So then when you go to start the next season, you would unbank, just meaning you get to spend that now to increase all your stats above that threshold. Can you find myself in the update section or I need to go through and do updater? Um, you'd have to go into update section. So whatever team picked you up, drafted you, etc., your update page should be in there. And then you can add a new post, which would show all the TP you've gained that you link into it. And then additionally, what it's been changed to and what skills you're changing. Yeah, so if it shows you what 100 TP and three banked, it means that you spent 97 originally and you have three banked or you spent 100, right? But you had like an AC or something that was claimed, but just it was automatically banked because you didn't say where it was spent. Like you didn't say I'm buying one point of BABIP or, you know, three points of speed or something. All right, we have to go to upload. Do, 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 upload. No problem. Again, there is, we have our rookie mentors here, right? And again, whatever miners team you have, um, I mean, really the GM should be able to guide you and should be helping you if you ask them. Um, that is what their primary role is. Miners is less about winning and it's more about developing users and getting them, you know, friendly with the website. So obviously reach out to either one of those resources and they should be helping you. Again, if for, so for some reason you can't get a hold of them in the next couple hours or something, um, head office is another resource. Um, or, I mean, you can honestly ask another miners GM if, it, if yours aren't replying just for help and updating, or I mean, obviously now you know my name, you can reach out to me and I can try to help you uh, for what I can. Okay, I think that is done. So let's have a look. Date is the 17th, which, uh, where's my scores? Yeah, that's correct. So we are updated, all good to go. Uh, just an FYI for anyone that's newer here. I actually don't know how many people are watching the stream still. I, I just can't see that. If whatever reason, right, so you're on a miners team and you're like, hey, I wanna see how my player's been doing. Um, EVC, are you still there? What's your player's name and what team do you play for? Wheelies? Enrique von Klant, Caliente. So, we see here, right, it doesn't look like you have any stats here. Um, that would be because we're in spring training. So it obviously is, does not reflect immediately on the, the index. So there's two ways to check this. One, you can click on your player, and then you can see what they've done over the last 10 games. Okay, but that obviously doesn't give you a straight stat dump for what you might want to look at. So then your next best bet is go to your team schedule, and then look at the last played game so it would be louisville here so if we click this we can see that's what your player is essentially done during spring training you can't see obp sl slugging rating and all that other stuff unfortunately but at least you can see that you know you this is what your average is uh you didn't hit any home runs but you've driven in six runs so gives you an idea at least how you did in spring training uh so you can kind of at least figure something out heading in into the regular season but um, our index is really great. Um, lots of info in there. Um, again, history page is great. You can see all the past winners. They're highlighted in blue who won the finals. You know, league ERA, league average. You can go to teams like, say, Toronto. This is our entire history and how we've done um, as far as record, what playoffs we've made, etc. And then there's a lot of other fun things too. Like, you can be like, hey, you know, I wonder who is Toronto's best batters of all time so you can click on registers batters sort by war and you can see 
Kendrick Mills has now taken the lead in war. So this is their top war player. And you can just kind of see, like, obviously Toronto's franchise has not had a very great future until recently. So, like, our top 10 batters is, like, pretty sad looking in comparison to, like, uh, if we look at Death Valley, right? Our best batter of all time would be, like, down here on Death Valley, right? In comparison. So there's really fun stuff that you can look at on the index uh, and just kind of see the deep history of the league. But anyways, we're uploaded. Good to go. Uh, I think that'll do it for us. Uh, again, I'm here next Saturday, so I'll see you then. But uh, Tuesday will be a real, quote-unquote, uh, regular season games. And we'll see you all then. Thanks. Bye.